across your YouTube. You, YouTube. 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 This is Patrick's first day talking again. Yes. He's been, he's, he did a forest expedenture. He was out there by himself whole week examining his thoughts, words, deeds. Yes. But the words, he's coming back again now. I sat, That's good. I sat in the forests of, uh, of Oregon and just meditated a little bit. You never know what's in those Focused forests. You never know up that way. No, I saw some pretty crazy I've stuff. I've heard that voodoo donuts just grow out of the ground there. That's yeah. what happens with the maple you know, bacon. They're putting, just... they're putting a Voodoo Donuts in the Denver airport. Really? There's yeah. one in Houston here. Did you know that? I, I you didn't know, know that? No. Oh, there is. Yep. There's a, we, we went to it. That's how Allison did the uh, pregnancy announcement for uh, it's my uh, Killian. For Gillian. We went to Voodoo Donuts here in Houston, and uh, she uh, had everyone hold a donut. and then I, I, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That was, oh, I didn't realize they were that, Voodoo. Yeah, Voodoo. Yeah, Voodoo Donuts right here in Houston. I think that's the next thing we'll have to have Goodman pay for is you and I to go do donut yeah. tasting. Speaking of Goodman paying for, I have a confession to make. Yes. I saw Doctor Strange without you. I know you did, and it's you're absolved. You're forgiven, brother, and I love Thanks you very God. much. It was and very good. We'll talk about it on a future episode. We only have a few episodes left before we wrap up for summer break, uh, but we'll we'll hit Doctor Strange. We also have have another uh, a fun episode um, to close out the season. But today. It's gonna be fun. Today, we, we were kind of asked uh, a few weeks ago to revisit the theme of our podcast and kind of talk about it. Because if you hear there and back again, it automatically takes you, well, we're nerds, um, it takes us to The Hobbit. Right. And to Lord of the Rings and to Tolkien. Um, but our podcast, while we've talked about Lord of the Rings, is certainly not about Lord of the Rings. No, no. It's... It's about what what grounds you. What this is this is. It's not just your base. Like okay, here's a little bit about me, and then here's all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. The reality of there and back again is you have this one Hobbit that goes through all this, comes back, but that still defines him. That Hobbit at back end. Yep. What defines us as Christians? What is our biography? Is I am one who is in Christ, and what does that mean to be in Christ? And it's not something you do. It's all gift from God, mm -hmm. gift from the Father. To be in Christ means you are now, you, you're tied at the hip with Jesus. What Jesus suffers, you suffer. Mm -hmm. What he exalts in, you exalt in. Yep. Where he goes, you go. Yep. You And it's not us like following miles behind trying to catch up to Jesus. We are literally right there with him like a three-legged race. But he's carrying us the whole time. Right. I, think that's, I think that's really important when you look at the topics we've covered. Like, if you take out um, what has uh, an episode that has gotten rave reviews, mind you, if you take out the candy episode, yes, a few a few weeks a few weeks ago for Easter, if you take out the candy episode and you look, um, we talk about tragedy, like the Travis Scott incident. We talk about um, how we deal with the Eighth Commandment when we talked about uh, Johnny Depp and Amber right. Heard, right? Or even talk about the Russia Ukraine conflict, exactly Russia Ukraine, or even how we as as Christians experience movies like right. um, Doctor Strange or Spider Thor or Spider Man, yep. two, two episode, two part episode on Spider Man, you should check it out. Yep, it's fun times. Um, I think it's important that ultimately, while we encounter these things, um, while we go through these things, uh, that we're we're being we're dealing with that are are almost persecuting our souls in some instances, um, the good and the bad. That ultimately, we're grounded in Christ. Well, and that's the thing, and these, these things are not what define us. Mm -hmm. The movies, the culture, the society, even though we're devoted to these things, we spend time with these things, we spend thoughts with these things, yep. what defines us is the voice of Christ. Yeah, I think that's really important to also think that, like, if you would look at me, you would probably think that I am defined by candy. Well, no, not you. <laughs> Kale, yes. Candy, no. <laughs> Well, even think, I remember when I was in high school, I, I went, I think I've told you this story before. Your watch is having trouble. Calm down, watch. Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I went to high school, I was homeschooled until sophomore year. And then my mother, my dad, and my mom worked, so I had to go to school. Mm -hmm. yep. So I entered a public school system sophomore year, had to take the night classes. So I'm in freshman classes during the day, sophomore classes at night. I literally felt lost and alone. But what defined me, what gave me grounding was I went to Christ Academy at Fort Wayne and soaked up two weeks of theology, yep. who I am as a justified, forgiven child of God. Around people who are just like you. Yeah, 
And then that yep. defined me as I went back into the midst of like confusion and chaos. Yep. I had order in my life, not because I tried having it, but because mm-hmm. Christ created it yep. in the forgiveness of my sins. And he said, this is who you are. Yep. You're not defined by any of this other stuff. You're not defined by the acceptance or the rejection of your peers, or of those above you, of those below you. You're not defined by the, the, the music you listen to and what words may say in there. And they may mm-hmm. be words that lift you up. They may be words that drag you down, but that still doesn't define you. What defines you is the unchanging voice of Jesus, who says, even when you mess up at and are at your worst, that's when I died yep. for you. While we were still being sinners, Christ mm-hmm. died for us. Through the worst trial and tribulation. Yeah. And that's like this summer when I do the plenary. Um, Valpo. I'm gonna, at Valpo with uh, Dr. Peppercorn. Uh, the first thing I'm going to teach everybody is the Greek phrases, who pair, hey, moan, and who pair, hey, who moan and hey, moan for you and for us Mm -hmm. that reality it's for me it's for you that's that's literally our vocabulary with each other it's just that you can sit there and talk with someone who loves a different football team loves a different movie from a different country different skin color it doesn't matter yep who they are where they are what they're where they're from it matters who christ is because he's covered them yep and that's the point of this podcast is as you encounter all these different cultural things, you are still grounded in the death and resurrection, the empty tomb. The full cross and the empty tomb define you. The full font and the full bread and wine, the full absolution, that defines you. We should teach a class about this in Valpo. We should. It'd be a fun Let's time. You it. you lead it. I'll just sit there and I'll just sit there and look. Uh, there. I don't know. I don't. I mean, I think if you've if anyone has ever watched an episode of our podcast, I think they know that um, by lead it, I certainly just ask you one question. <laughs> You're right. And, and just allow <laughs> you to uh, to to give to give good gospel. <clears throat> um, so we're here towards the end, almost. We have, we'll have probably two more episodes after this one uh, for this season. Um, but certainly they won't be as serious as some of our others in the past. So at the end of season one, looking into season two, as we kind of take the summer off, um, and we, we, we take the summer off, we enjoy our summer. I hope we see you at a higher things conference. Uh, I'll be at both. He'll be in Valpo. Uh, come say hi, come to our breakaway that I just told him we're teaching. Um, where do you see Theron back again going for season two. What what do you think uh, we should cover for season two? Asking me or the people? You're you. Me? Well, I, I, think like it's, I think it's... Well, look at it even, even following the Tolkien stuff. It keeps getting darker and darker and darker until you finally get to the light. Yeah. And I think it's what we may start doing in the next season is actually taking some... Let's take the tough stuff. It's really tough stuff. Remember, yeah. we're not going to be political, but that doesn't mean we don't talk about what's going on. Yeah. What someone said, how it we, affects people. Oh, for sure. We can we can talk about it without taking sides. And that's the thing. Yep. But it's also talking about those Sorry, topics. His watch just really hates man. me today. Um, talking about those topics that... Because really, and, and this like when I said what defines you earlier, you have the devil speaking, you have the world speaking, you have your old Adam, you have all these things coming at you. Mm-hmm. Basically, every episode we're going to have is how are those voices silenced as you experience the culture as a cleansed, forgiven, redeemed, yep. loved child yep. of God? I, I think that's really important. Um, super top secret information. Hint, Pastor Hall and I know, but uh, next year, uh, Higher Things is going gonna, is gonna to hit it out of the park with our, our conference theme. Oh, yeah. Um, and I think a lot of that can tie into where we're going for our 2023 conference season. So I, I think we'll have a have a fun time. It's going to be fun times all the time, man. Yep. So one of our members asked me that because I think people know I say fun times a lot. And people go, I don't, I don't think we think the same thing about fun times. I say it's fun times because I've been taken out of something. Yeah. My fun time is not defined by what I experience. Oh, 100%. My, my fun time is defined by where I'm going unto eternity. Yeah. And it's guaranteed. Because what does Jesus say? Rejoice not that the demons are submissive to you, but mm-hmm. instead rejoice that your name is written in the book of heaven. Yeah, and, and no matter what, ultimately baptized child of it's God. It's sealed in the blood of yep. Jesus. It can't be erased. Yep. There's no erasers that can take away the blood of Christ. Yep. Thanks be to God. All right, that is our episode. Uh, we will see you for our final two remaining episodes uh, for this 
uh, first season of there and back again. Come check us out this summer at our 4U 2022 conferences. The 15-year anniversary of our first 4U conference uh, will be at Montana State University in Bozeman, Montana. Uh, maybe we go see Yellowstone. You never know. You never know. Hopefully, mm -hmm. I, I don't run into the Yellowstone crew. Yep. I'm I mean, too holy. I've Kirk, never seen that show. No, never. Kirk Costner, you never know. I mean, might yep. get an autograph. Sign uh, a baseball for you. Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I like it. I like yeah. it. And then after that, the week following, will be at Valparaiso University in Valpo, uh, Indiana, in their beautiful chapel. It's going to be fun. I it's can't gonna wait. It's going to be a great time. Uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, for our final two episodes. Thank you. Excelsior. There you go. Stan, lead up.